Hi guys, it's Christy with Pro in the Home. Today I'm back with the second um, box in my 200 pound thread up rescue box of clothing. If you didn't see the first box, um, I'll definitely link it above. Uh, you might want to start there so you can see all the awesome items that I got and I'm super excited. There was like, I think like 86 items in the last box. So we'll find out soon how many items are in this box and if the items are as good as they were in the first, I'm just super stoked. So let's get started. For those of you that are new here, I'm Christy and I run ProInTheHome.com. It's a website to help uh, home-based businesses uh, get on their feet, uh, tips and tools of the trade, and I am a professional reseller, which means that I sell everything on every platform there is to sell on. And I started in 2002, so I've been doing this quite some time. It is my full-time business. Let's get started with today's box. All right, so again, this is the second box of four um, that I got. Bought a 200-pound lot of clothing, which is women's clothing. And the fun part of this is you never know what it exactly is you're going to find in each box. And I enjoy um, showing you and seeing all the kind of goodies I might get. Last box, I got quite a few good things. All right. First item is new with tags. It is a pair of shorts. These are really cute, little stretchy shorts. I've never heard the brand. It is 151. And trying to see if there's a there's a tag on it but it doesn't tell me the price but they are really cute um, something definitely that if I don't sell myself I can sell on another platform so typically what I do is I look through everything and I have different piles in my office so I have a pile for things I intend to resell things I intend to send back to thread up to let them sell Things that um, I'm not sure about that I need to do research on means if I'm not familiar with a brand or I think it might be something good, I take a look at it. And then I have a brand that I, or a, a box that I send to consignment stores. So maybe somebody like Play It Those Closet or um, Once Upon a Child it was clothing items, but in some kind of consignment store. So I try and my hope is that each piece um, is of some value. Uh, I think the last box I had maybe somewhere between three and five items that I'm just either donating back or tossing because they were ripped. Um, so that's how I kind of go through when I'm opening these boxes and checking everything out. All right, this feel, oh, it's another Parker piece. So I got a Parker piece in my last box. Parker is a really nice brand. It was a dress. This is another dress. It is, feels like silk. I'm pretty sure that it is. And that is awesome because this brand, when I looked online, I was really thrilled with um, how well it sold. And yeah, it is silk. Um, how well it sold and how much people were getting for their items. So very cool. I like starting off the box this way. Yesterday's box, I didn't start off so great, but it ended great. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Well, thanks, Alexa. All right, next is an item that has no brand, but it does say it is a size small. It's long sleeve. It's got this lacy type part up here. It's not in the best condition. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. This may be something I have to donate. This is uh, Forever 21. It is a cute little dress. Of course, it's fast fashion. It's not worth a whole lot, but as long as it's in great shape and it has no flaws, then I can send this to consignment. So that's the box that one will go in. Okay, this is Wild Fable, which means it is... Um, Target brand. Typically, I would probably send this to Plato's, but I think 
this will fit my daughter and it's really kind of cute. You know, this is the kind of dress at Target that doesn't cost a lot, but you can get a lot of use out of it, especially with this color. You pair it with a um, denim jacket, really cute. So I'm gonna save this for her because she may have some interest in it. All right, next piece is a, I think it's a skirt. I don't see any label. It's lined. Let me look inside. Sometimes you can find a little information here. All right, so it has a style tag, so I could look it up to see what it is. My guess is that it's just um, some fast fashion brand. And it's, it's a cute little skirt, but it is tiny. Um, so I'll put that to the side to figure out what I want to do with that one. Oh my gosh, this is something else. It's Tienda Ho, and it's got, it's like a linen open long duster cardigan. And you hear that? It's got these little danglies on there. So I don't know anything about this brand. It does, it's missing the size tag. It says it's made, handmade in Morocco, so it's something that I'll definitely um, probably sell myself. Definitely, probably. That sounded good, didn't it? <laughs> okay. Let's see. This looks cute. It is a top with this open, strappy back. It has no tag and it has it's layered i wonder if it's reversible kind of looks like it could be worn two different ways see this yeah it's definitely reversible it's probably why it has no tags so something like this what i will do is i will um do a google image search to see if it has any value so right now it goes in the keep pile this is pink republic i think this is it's pink republic target brand or kohl's um, it's a cute little top. It, let's see, it has a size tag and it doesn't look like it's missing anything, so this can go to Plato's Closet. Okay, this is H&M. It is a glittery uh, tunic sweater. It has a pull on the arm, and that's probably why Fred up wouldn't take it. In fact, there's a couple pulls through here. So this is something, normally I would just probably cut that off if that was the only flaw, but it just doesn't look like it's in the best shape, so this can be donated. Next, this is Sebo skirt, which I have no, never heard of this brand, but it is a romper and it is absolutely adorable. It is, you definitely have to, it's like a cross uh, surplice top part there um, and a deep V back. It, I'll show you the brand. It says a small, gosh, it looks awfully big for a small. Not familiar with that at all. So this is one of those items that I have to research. So I will put it to the side, but it's really cute. All right, here is new with tags. This is a Adidas shirt. I don't know that this is a women's. It says extra large. I guess it's a female cut, um, but this is definitely something that I can sell. All right, looks like we've got a skirt. <clears throat> it's a really small waist on it. Well, almost um, just has pleats and it kind of flares out. The pattern is really cute. I hate that it has no tag in it. It has a zipper and it has little snaps as well down the back. So let me see here. 
looks like it's it zippers first and then snaps let me let me check the inside to see if there's any it feels almost like a silk inlay there are absolutely no tags whatsoever on this maybe this was homemade I'm not sure, but um, I'll do a Google image search to see because I do like it. It's cute. All right. This is Dylan Alexa. It looks like it could be a mini dress. It's really tiny, though, um, for a mini dress, and it doesn't be to be a tiny size so it's a medium so I don't know if this is a top and a skirt if there's something missing here um, I'm gonna have to do my research on that one it's another research piece okay these feel like silk rich and skinny shorts they feel like silk to me yep 100% silk and they're a size 25 gray color don't know much about this brand but the fact that they're silk and they're in really good shape um, they just need to be in photograph wouldn't be too terribly hard to get that color it might be but um, definitely something I can sell okay this is J crew it's black label it's an older black label but Nevertheless, it's really cute. It's got the sparklies on there. It's got these covered buttons down the back. This is something that as long as all of the jewels are there, I will probably try to sell. Oh, there's one jewel missing. That's the problem. Okay. Nobody's going to notice that there's one jewel missing on this top, though, because there's one on the bottom. I could easily take another one off the bottom if they're symmetrical so that you wouldn't notice. Um, this is something I can definitely sell myself. Another item that's new with tags. Again, it's Wild Fable. It's just a little crop top. This, of course, is something that can go to Plato's Closet. Okay. Next up is this little dress. Really cute patterns. V-neck. It's very thin material. It's probably fast fashion. I can't tell you because there's no tag, but it is really, really cute. So let's see what I can find out about it. I'll have to see if I can Google image search it to figure it out. A pair of pants. These are Zara, Zara Woman's, and they are cute. Look at that pattern. Don't you just, isn't that cute? Zara, unfortunately, doesn't always hold up well. And this pair of pants has tons of loose stitching, which is so sad. Look at this. I found a really cute Zara uh, skirt yesterday, too, um, in the first box. And I just, it's got the same problem. It's got all these little thready pieces. So this is unfortunately going to end up being donated, even though they're really cute. Okay. Oh, my goodness. All right. Here's a dress it has zero tags and it is kind of odd it is a long ruffled um seersucker white dress it's it has no tags i would imagine that it's probably um somebody bought it off amazon let's see here there's some, it's cotton polyester dry clean made in China I don't even know what to think about this dress um, so yeah I'll put it to the side and decide it's in good condition there's nothing wrong with it I'm just not sure it's something that I would know what to do with okay you gotta love when somebody goes to the trouble of pinning a top why are we putting safety pins in a top and then sending it to thread up. That makes no sense to me. Thread, what do you think thread up's gonna do? You think they're gonna make repair, do repair work or something? Or 
can understand that. Okay, let's see. And they did it on both sides. I think they were trying to make their own strap. Maybe there's not a flaw in it. It's just they were lazy and didn't remove it. And thread up was just not fun. They're not going to mess with that. All right, this is a Q&A extra small. Really cute top. It can be, let's see, yeah, it's got little sleeves, so it's just a little, um, it can be worn off the shoulder or on. Really cute. Um, this will go to uh, consignment. All right, we got a new tag item. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's here's the clue, guys. When you send something to thread up, and it's new and it's new with tags, but it's been marked down to a dollar ninety six. <laughs> Take the tag off, not the whole tag, but peel the stickers. It's not that hard to do. Do you think that? First of all, do you think? Thread up is going to take the time to peel a sticker. No, they're not going to do that. This is a brand passport. Um, again, it was marked down to $1.96. I'm going to do the work of it and peel the stickers off because originally it was like it's from Macy's and originally it was probably around 30 some dollars. I'll send it to Plato's Closet and get a few bucks for it. So um, that's something I'll definitely do. But I certainly will not leave those reduced stickers on it so yeah peeling that off all right next is it looks like a career skirt it's size four but it does not have a brand um, it's just a basic little black knee length skirt it has a opening in the back buttons here zipper works it's in good shape good condition and I'll send this to Plato's closet okay this top is a jewel not a it's like another fast fashion brand it black if it's black floral print it has a zipper down the back in a bright color. Let me see if it has the size tag. I don't know if Plato's will take it without a size tag. But this is something I definitely would send to Plato's. Well, we'll put it in the Plato's box and we'll see if they take it or not. All right, Sweet Romeo. This is an open cardigan with little ruffle design. This is something, again, I'll send to Plato's. All right, let's see what this is. This is a blouse. It has um, sheer sleeves with these little uh, fuzzy dots on them. Looks to be a larger size, but I don't see any kind of tag on here to tell me. So it is 100% polyester. It is an extra large, but there's no brand on it, so I'm not sure. Plato probably would take this. Um, I could figure out the brand it may do me just as good to sell it myself because it's an extra large and it's cute all right old navy this is an old navy uh, little tank dress nothing spectacular and this will go to plato's closet okay this is english factory is a size small. I don't know much about this brand, but it could be a good brand. I think the problem with this, and my thread up didn't keep it, is it's got some staining. I don't know if the light picks it up or not, but there is some yellow staining on the bottom. It, let me see if it's dry clean only. It's polyester and it can be washed. So I'm this is one of those pieces that I'll have to look up, and if it needs just long, basic laundering, that's something, of course, I can do. All right, sweater. This one's airy. I love airy. This is a really cute sweater. It's like a cable knit v-neck. It 
doesn't show a lot of wear. Is it extra small? This is something I will sell. I won't get a whole lot for it, but I do love Aerie. Some people, if you once you have a piece of Aerie, you tend to buy more just because it wears well. And this is Massimo. This is a dress, a surplus neckline. It is an extra large. It's actually pretty cute. Um, this is something that I definitely will send to Plato's. So far we got more Plato's than anything else in this box, but maybe things will change. Okay, this is Westport 1962. This is a 2X. 2X does really well. Um, so I probably will sell this myself. Um, it's, it's cute enough pattern. It's floral. It's got these uh, ruffles and pleats. It's lined. So 2X, I'll sell it. Okay, this is Nadine, made in Italy. This is just a little shrug sweater, really cute. Um, I'll sell this. I wish it had a fabric content and it has no size, but it, it feels nice. It's probably wool. Okay, this dress is 140, 143 story, and oh, it's a romper. It's oh, it's a pant romper. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I might have to try this on because it is really, really cute. I'm not big on the ruffle, but I love a one-piece romper. So we'll see. Um, but definitely, if not, I'm going to sell it. Six hundred West. I'm not familiar with this brand. It's missing the size tag, but it's a lovely mustard yellow. It's got a great fabric feel to it. Let me see what it's made of. It's just a cotton rayon blend, but I do like this. It's a larger size. I think it's a large, probably an extra large, but I do like that. More yellow. These are Ann Taylor Petite shorts, and they are so cute. Look at that print. Isn't that cute? Petites are so hard to sell, though. So this is something definitely is going to go to Play-Dohs. Okay, a pair of pants. These are um, Coyotin. They are a small. They're just a basic little workout pant. Um, these are sold usually at like TJ Maxx. That'll go to Plato's. Okay, this is a Marona. These, this is a skirt. It's a size 18. So great size. Um, I may end up selling this myself. If not, it's going to go to Plato's. All right, this is Calvin Klein. It's a work career skirt. It's a size two. Calvin Klein does really well on thread up. So this is a piece that's definitely gonna go back to thread up. Okay, so give me a second. Well, it seems to be like a lot of dresses in this lot. This is really pretty though. This is a dress, surplus top. Of course it has no friggin tag to tell me anything about it, but it feels really nice. It's lined. Looking for the interior to see if there's any markings, any tags. There's not, but it's like, oh, this buttery soft. I would totally, if it was my size, and it, it could be, um, I would totally buy this. Problem is it's got this high-low hem, which is a little out of style. Nevertheless, I will see if I can find anything through Google Image Search. All right. City Chic is a size 18. It is a dress. And this is something that, um, since it's sized and everything, if it has no flaws, this will go back to thread up because I do not like. Um, 
black dresses. They're just so hard to photograph to make them look good. And I have a mannequin, which is, I don't like bothering with it. Okay, this is Astra Devarius. I believe it is a European brand, just based on the style tag. It looks just like a jacket type shirt in this army camo print. It feels like the fabric's really nice. I'd like, love to know the content of it if I could find a content tag. Oh, it's been removed. And I'm sure the size, no, the size is there. Okay. It just needs to be ironed out. So I'm going to look up this brand a little bit more to see what I can find out. Mud. So this is just a cheap mud shirt. It's in decent enough condition that it can go to Plato's Closet. Okay, Wild Fable again. This is Target brand. Cute, cute little dress. I may let my daughter look at this and see if she likes it because it is pretty, pretty sweet. Okay, timing. This is another high-low shirt. It's got sheer back to it. I don't see a size tag on here. Let me see if it's inside. Yes, small. Okay, so this can go to Plato's. Okay, Topshop. Oh, I love Topshop. Black. Oh, it's a bodysuit. Make sure it's clean. Okay, this has got the snap crotch and it is a nice bodysuit. So, I mean, it's in great condition. It's a surplus top, short sleeve. It is a size US 8. And that's something that I would sell. All right, next up is Zanana Premium Small. It is just a little thin shirt dress with a lace hem. I will send this to Plato's. Okay, next up, this is Time and True. It's a size small. This is the Walmart brand, but it is really nice little um, open front long length cardigan in this camel color, which is really nice. It has, I mean, it feels really good like the fabric is nice I'd love to know what it is made of it doesn't say but I'm gonna send this to Plato's okay this is dress barn it is an extra large it's just a little red jacket again this can go to Plato's What is this? Okay. Little watermelon toe crop top long sleeve with ruffles. It probably is in Asia. Let's see if it is a sheen tag or something. It says made in China. It does not have a size. To, oh, it does. Small. Okay. So we're going to send this to Plato's. I don't know if that's something they would take or not, but we'll try. All right. Dress that is missing the tag. Somebody cut that bad boy out. But it is a cute little dress. I love that pattern. Really cute. But see how the tag's been cut. Why would somebody do that? Why do you... It's got pockets. Oh, who doesn't love a dress with some pockets? Hmm. No tags inside, so this is something. Oh, here we go. Okay, it is poly, it's polyester. It is, it's cute though. I'm gonna have to do an image search to see if I can figure this one out. Okay, again, time and true. This is a medium, it is a romper. It's got little shorts attached to it. Kind of cute actually. I like the color of it. It's an 810 
and this can go to Plato's. Okay, this is like an army green. It's got little army patches and stuff. Jacket, it's by Be Sweet. Um, it's kind of cute. It's a size medium. I'll send this to Plato's. Okay, this top gives me a um, like new direction vibe. And it has absolutely no tags on it. Um, I'm going to have to see if I can Google image search it and then I can see if I can sell it or not. Oh, this is so nice. I hate the size. This is J. Crew. It's an older label, but this is like olive green Lola. Oh, it's so fabulous. It's a four petite, which sucks, but. I'm going to first try to sell this myself. If it doesn't sell, then I will send it to Greta. That is super cute. I like that. Let's see what's next. All right. This is a shirt with only a size, no brand. This will go straight to Plato's. Top. Again, no tags. How do people not know that ThreadUp's not going to take something with tags? If it doesn't have tags. I'm um, not sure what I'm going to do with that since it has no tag and no size. I don't even think Plato's Closet will take that. This is Halogen. It's a cute little dress. Um, cute enough that it can go to Plato's. Oh, so much Plato's stuff, guys. Not a lot of other stuff, but I'm only halfway <laughs> through this box. All right, let's look at this. Basic editions, this is Walmart brand, cardigan. Um, this is kind of more, I mean, it's a good, it's, is it a 3X? Yeah, it's a 3X. Um, it's nothing that I'm gonna sell, um, just cause it's a little bit, I don't know, just not, not for me. So that'll probably get re-donated. Another new day. This is a dress. This is really pretty. Um, it's a 2X, so it's a good size um, for resale. The brand isn't that great, but if it's a cute piece, even at a new day, um, they make some really cute clothes. So, you know, 2X, I'll sell it. All right, I've got a pair of Anne Klein shorts that are cute pattern. Unfortunately, oh no, not unfortunately, never mind. I was going to say they are missing a button. But, let me show you. Okay, so these are shorts. Really, really cute pattern. Usually there's a button in here, even though they close with the um, little slide hooks. That it's missing the interior button. I don't know how much of a difference that's gonna make. I mean, honestly, I could repair it and just put a button. Lord knows I have enough of them. It, it They are a size eight, cute pattern. I may do that um, and resell them. This is Time and True again. This is a size 20 dress. It's new with tags. I'm not sure why people are sending in um, Walmart clothes. Why they think they're going to sell. Because they're pretty much not. This one, I'm probably going to send this to Plato's Closet. Just because it's a basic black dress. Um, it could be, it's not necessarily uh, too old fashioned. Another blouse that has no tag. Just has, I mean, it just says small, so this can go as well to Plato's. This is 1XL pants. They are Active USA. Um, I'll send those. They're in good good shape. They just near to Plato's. Got so much stuff at Plato's, it probably only give me like ten dollars for everything, but you know, hey, it's something. Okay, Cynthia Stife. This is a good brand. Um, it's a size two. I will probably send this to Thread Up. Okay. 
This is Parisian Petite. I believe I've seen this at um, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of those brands, but it's a cute top. It's just a basic um, ruffled blouse that you could wear as um, with little sleeves or no sleeves whatsoever. You could actually detach those and it could just be a um, like a this on top. It is a size US 6. I'm going to send this to um, Plato's as well. Alright. Catherine Mandalorino basic gray long sleeve top Plato's Let's see. Top. No brand. No size that I see. It's just a basic little black knit with these buttons on it. It's kind of cute, but gosh, no brand. I'll have to do a photo, see if I can find it. This is Universal Thread. It's a 3X. Just um, like a little shirt, shirt dress. I'll try to sell that. I might end up putting all that stuff in a lot. Okay. Still tons of stuff in this box. All right, jeans. Usually you don't get jeans in these boxes. So these are Sinner, which I've never heard of. They um, are distressed. They have a really cute skinny ankle that with the hem. But these size, this size is small. Yeah, this is a US 4. Looks like this might be a European line. I'm not really sure. I'm going to look up this, this line before I decide what I'm going to do with it. All right, we got a jacket. Oh, do you see that? It's a North Face jacket, y'all. And it's a large, and it's in absolutely great condition. Nice. That is cool. It is a heavier weight fleece lined jacket. Let's see if it has a style on it. Oh, it's so cute. I can't believe this didn't sell. It's really, really good condition. Lots of pockets. Awesome. That right there is worth the box. Okay. Oh, nice. Another super nice jacket. This is a Nike and it's a hoodie. It's a heather black. It's got a nice little pleated vent in the back. Nice. This is really, really, those two pieces are excellent. I'll sell both of those. Ann Taylor Petite. It's a nice little top. This can go back to further up. This looks to be like a homemade kind of dress. It is not, oh, it's got broken straps. Okay, this can go to thrift store. Got a sweater. This is like an oversized grandpa sweater. And oh my gosh, y'all, it is so freaking soft. Oh, it's universal thread. It's a large, so just a Target brand. Gosh, it feels heavenly. I don't know if I'll sell this or not, um, but we'll see. Maybe so. Okay, a pair of pants. These are a new day. And I'm going to send these over to Plato's. Christopher Christopher Banks. This is very matronly. Um, it looks like it's old timey, so that's going to go back to Goodwill. It's nothing thread up, would probably even sell. New Day small shirt dress. This is actually really pretty. I tell you, a New Day has, Target has some really cute things. So we'll send this to Plato's.
tell if these are these are like little palazzo pants but I don't see any size tag in them and they're very sheer and if I don't have a size tag in them I don't think Plato's is going to take them so they just might be getting donated all right a pair of black dress slacks these are loft petites um, outlet these are going to get to play those this is pinky pinkyado i'm not familiar with that at all it is a dress it's got sheer sleeves doesn't look like the size is in it sometimes we'll find it on the inside i even see a fabric tag in there I will send this over to Plato's and see if they take it. Okay, Sag Harbor. It's a large skirt. It's got a little bit of dangly on here. This is that same um, kind of matronly clothes that I don't think are going to sell. Um, certainly not something I would sell, and I don't think they're worth sending back to thread up or to Plato's. Okay, Old Navy Everyday Shorts, Mid-Rise. Let's see if the size is in here. Yeah, size 8. We'll send these over to uh, Plato's. Another skirt, it's another divided skirt. It's like a uh, see through, oh, they're pants. No, what is that? No, okay. It's a skirt that's kind of made to look like pants. It's like sheer at the bottom and then it's got like a slip to here. It's divided, H&M. That can be sent to Play-Dohs. A New Day, this is extra large blouse. I can go to Play-Doh. Gosh, my Play-Doh's box is getting full. All right, y'all. I've got about maybe 10 pieces left. This is a belt. This is just Old Navy D-Ring belt. I'm not sure why it's in this box. This would be more like a fun box thing, but I may be able to put a lot of D-Ring belts together. All right, this is nice. This is a Nike golf skirt. It's a size four. It's great condition. It's got built-in bloomers. That's something I will sell. Next, Casper. It's just a blazer jacket. This is something that I'll send back to thread up. It's a nice jacket. Career piece. Todd and Olivia Platinum. It is a knit um, cardigan, almost like a blazer type. Let's see here. I'm going to try to snap it together so you can see what it looks like. This is not something I would sell but I will send this back to thread up. It's a nice piece. This is Karen Sport 1X. This looks like it came from like the 90s. So that's going to go back to Goodwill. Okay, so this Obviously, okay, so that was a two-piece set, that pink knit that I showed you because here are the here's the long skirt that goes with it. So yeah, those will be sent back to thread up. Last two pieces. This is a homemade skirt that somebody made to probably look like uh, Versace. Um, so that's going back to Goodwill. I'm back. <laughs> it should have been Goodwill before. And then I also have a Sienna Sky long dress 
for our sides pant. It's a uh, romper, but it's missing the belt. So that is going to get taken uh, to Goodwill too. So let me count up how many pieces I have, and then I'll give you an idea of um, like my favorite pieces from today's box. Okay, so overall this box had 93 items. So this box had more items than box one, um, but it didn't have as many major profitable items. So it has profitable items, but not as many. So I ended up um, I'm sending 20 items to Goodwill, which is a lot. That's last time I only sent like between five and eight, somewhere around there. So this time a lot more going to Goodwill means that they were just either like Sheen brand, um, Amazon brand, um, not having a idea of what brand it was because I couldn't figure it out. Um, I did research things to kind of see those that were branded even if they didn't have a size and I wasn't sure what the brand was. I also did some photo research so used good Google image search to figure out some things and um, so I, I have a good idea of what I have. Um, I'm only sending five things back to thread up which is kind of strange but that's that's really low for this box uh, but that's okay. Um, I'm sure that the other boxes will have more things. So let me show you my favorite items from this box. Just to kind of go over everything one more time. Okay, this was um, Parker, and it's a cute little silk dress. These jeans, I ended up um, getting the name of them wrong. They are, um, hold on, let me separate it down somewhere. Let me see here, um, Mother Superior. These are Mother Superior jeans, and these are like $100 uh, sell rate uh, jeans. So these are really good. So I'll sell those. This one didn't, remember I showed you this dress did not have the tag. It was ripped out. Um, let me show you this one. Um, ended up, I did a Google image search. It is J. Crew. It is so super cute. So um, even though it doesn't have a size, I'll figure it out by measuring it. Um, this shirt I didn't show you because I found it on the ground it must have slipped and I didn't uh, show it to you this is a joie um, top it's really cute it's sheer black it's got little um, tassels on it this one I knew was good quality because it says it's made in India and it's linen but I wasn't familiar with the brand um, Tien De Ho but I did look that up. This is a good, like, probably $80 cardigan used, so that's good. The Nike golf skirt, I showed you that, and I really like that one. Um, oh, I just, I still love this. This just is so awesome. Uh, J. Crew blazer jacket, of course, the North Face that I just absolutely love it's in such great condition and it's such a nice high quality north face jacket and the nike hoodie zip up jacket which of course is so cute too so those are my favorite pieces i have more than that that i'm going to be selling but those are my favorites so this is box two i have box three and four coming if you didn't see box one you need to make sure that you go check that box out that's where i got that diane furstenberg and some other really um, high quality items so um yeah I, even two boxes i've probably i mean i've more than paid because the first box paid for everything and that i paid over like i think it was like 450 total for everything um that first box paid for everything. So everything after that first box is gonna be butter. So I am super excited um, to start getting this stuff listed and then I'm gonna share with you how much it ends up selling for. So make sure if you're not already subscribed that you subscribe now. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That, that certainly does help me, but it also is gonna help you because it's gonna tell that algorithm with YouTube what kind of stuff you like. And so it looks like the keywords that I use and it kind of pairs you up with more things you might wanna see. So like thread up things, if you love thread up hauls and you like this, then 
then YouTube's going to say, oh, well, let's give you some more thread up things to look at. So that benefits you and it benefits me. And it's just a win for everyone. So again, I'm Christy with Pro in the Home. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed it and come by and see me again so you can see box number three. Bye for now.